So what we're going to talk about in this video is private savings and investment. So we're going to start off with S equals YD minus C and we already know what these variables stand for. D, YD is the disposal income and C is consumption. And remember that we can expand C to make it C naught plus BYD. This was from our last video. If I scroll up, CO equals BYD. That's C. So if we further expand this, then we could do this. We could do YD minus CO minus BYD. And if we move things around, then we have minus CO plus YD minus BYD. Now let's try to take out the YD. So we do CO plus 1 minus B YD. And this is the final equation that we have, that we come up with. And 1 minus B actually means something. So 1 minus B is actually equal to a change in S over the change in disposable income. And that, this stands for the marginal, marginal propensity, propensity to save. And we can call this MP save. And what the marginal propensity to save is, I guess it's the opposite of marginal propensity to consume. It's when we increase our saving that results from an increase in income. So say that, so say that, say that uh, you earn uh, one extra dollar in, uh, from a raise. So not much of a raise, but we are earn one extra dollar. And then your margin propensity to save would be say 65%. So then on the, 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 the extra dollar that you earn, you save 65 more 65 cents more and you probably spend the other 35 cents if there are no taxes that is so the next thing that i want to talk about is investment uh, i know the savings was rather short but that's all right you really need to know so investment i equals i o is the the the, the formula so in our case if this is we're discussing what investment where it's completely autonomous and here's a little exercise for you you can guess what happens these are the changes in uh, autonomous in, uh, autonomous in investment so you can just do this little exercise and what, guess what will happen to the investment if these things occur if confidence increases then what do you think uh, investment will do. You can pause the video to do this little exercise or just listen to me speak. So if confidence rises, if you feel confident about your investment, then of course your investment increases. If you're buying like say Apple stock and your confidence in the company is uh, big, then you buy more stock. Similarly, if profits increase, if Apple increases their profits, then you probably want a part of their profits and you increase your investment in the company. But if interest rate rises, then of course your investment will decrease. This is similar to our house example in the last video, where if you have, if the government increased the interest rate, then you would have to pay more, pay more money to get a loan to buy a house so you will probably wait until the interest rate is lower to make an uh, initial investment onto that dream house you want to buy and that's all i want to talk about in this video